I'm joined now by two very special guests. We've got Dr. Charles Rotimi and Dr. Sarah Tishkoff, who are the co-awardees for the Kurt Stern Award. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start off talking about the importance of diversity in human genetics and genomics. Diversity is critical in everything that we do in life, especially in genomics, uh, because to understand the complete history of what is coded in our DNA, we need to study all human populations. Because human populations have acquired different variation when they live in different environment, but perhaps more importantly, in terms of the context of Africa, we all started from Africa uh, in terms of our evolutionary history before we migrated to different parts of the world. And therefore, having a full appreciation for the diversity in that part of the world will not only benefit Africans, but it will benefit the global population. And you started out in anthropology. Talk about thinking about where we come from and then came together to work on genetics. Yeah, that's correct. So I started out with a background in anthropology and genetics. And I was interested in learning more about human evolutionary history and human origins. And Africa is the place to go because it's the site of origin of all modern humans. And when I started this, my research actually as a graduate student with Ken Kidd at Yale, we started characterizing variation in the limited number of African populations for which there were DNA. And to our surprise, we found so much variation, not just within populations, but between populations as well. And that was very different than what we saw in non-African populations. So from that point, um, together with my African collaborators and members of my uh, research lab, we started to study uh, diverse populations throughout Sub-Saharan Africa to characterize the extent of diversity within and between groups. And what it showed is that indeed there's so much diversity that there's no such thing as a representative African population <laughs> that we need to be including many diverse populations and that there are functionally important genetic variants that might be restricted to certain regions or populations due to either their uh, demographic history or adaptation to different environments. How do you see those results and that research helping on a more global scale? The recent research we just did under the umbrella of the uh, human heritage and health in Africa uh, shows very clearly that if we do a good job of understanding the variation that exists in African population, that that can inform the medical decisions we make about the importance of variation for other human populations. For example, there are variants that we are calling pathogenic when we just look at European populations, for example. But when you look at African populations, those variants may not necessarily be pathogenic uh, within that uh, you know, uh, geographical area because of many reasons. Maybe there are other genetic modifiers that exist or even environmental differences um, that exist. You know. So understanding variation in the context of uh, the African population, like I said earlier, does not only benefit Africans, it can inform the decisions we make uh, for global populations. So let's talk about how we move from the understanding <coughs> to application. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that um, another reason that it's uh, important in particular to study ethnically diverse populations is that uh, we people have been uh, trying to infer polygenic risk scores or genetic risk scores. Um, usually these are based on studies that were done in Europeans. And it's been shown that they don't transfer well across different ethnic groups. And so that actually um, can result in inequalities in the clinic. We might actually be giving wrong information. And the other thing to keep in mind is that um, one of the criteria for, uh, for clinicians to determine if a variant is pathogenic is have they seen that variant anywhere else? Is it common or not? And if you don't include Africans, you may not know. It may actually be common, for example, in some populations, but not in others. So there's really a, a wide ranging breadth of information that we're getting from this that could help ultimately in treating human disease. Globally, yes. yes. Yeah, I think that is a very, very important message uh, for us to, um, you know, to share with the world that, uh, again, this is, this is not just Africa, it's all human populations that we need to do a better job of being inclusive uh, in our understanding and documentation of variation you know, globally. But Africa is particularly important because it is the root and trunk of our history. And by understanding that, uh, we can truly understand ourselves. And that's why I tend to make use the expression that we all Africans beneath our skin. 
and because that's where we started from. And uh, so what we get from Africa is, is not going to only benefit Africa, but benefit global populations. Well, thank you both for all you're doing and congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank you.